welcome back to my channel so today's video actually came about because um i had a video that i made a couple of years ago now all about the luxury mistakes that i've made um when it comes to like luxury hand buying and i thought that i would kind of make the opposite of that video because i want to talk about the more positive side of luxury buying instead of just regrets and mistakes i feel like those videos are more commonly made but i want to focus on the positive like end of the spectrum of that so i thought i would make my video titled like the smartest luxury investments or the smartest luxury decisions i've ever made and funny enough one of the mistakes from that video that i was talking about is actually one of the positives in this video. I will explain that when we get to it. If you are a fan of luxury handbags and you like the color pink, please subscribe to my channel. I'm a hardworking mother with my own business and I love to spend my money on handbags and talk all things handbags. So if you can relate to that, please subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every week. All right, so let us start with what I was talking about first. So in that luxury mistakes video, I mentioned that my Chanel classic flap was technically a luxury mistake because I had bought it pre-loved for the amount that it was currently in retail price. So um, the story behind that is, is that this bag is from 2004. It is a nine series. So it is a pretty old bag and I bought this one. I want to say it was like for five years ago now um it was around 2017 or 2018 sorry the years kind of feel all blurry now because of the pandemic i can't remember what year is which so i saw this one being sold on the pre-loved market and i was dying to get it because this is literally my favorite pink of all time that chanel's ever made so i had spent the amount of money it was to buy it retail price that year which was um like i said in 2018 or so even though this bag is old and vintage and i had mentioned in that video i thought it was a mistake because that is just so much money to be spending on a used bag now i'm thinking that it is one of my best like decisions i've ever made because this bag has only gone up in price um similarly i wanted to talk about my chanel jumbo as well because i bought this one from the boutique in 2019 for the 2019 s spring collection and at the time i really um didn't want to buy it i mean i really wanted to buy it but i was really hesitant because the jumbo was like 61 or 62 hundred dollars and it had just had a price increase and i was like oh i don't know like that's just so much for a chanel bag and i just don't know if i want to spend the money but i love this iridescent color so much and i knew that they were probably never going to come out with like this kind of pink again so i decided to go for it and at the time I was kind of like uh like a little bit annoyed and angry at myself for you know like caving in and buying something so expensive but just like this chanel classic medium flap i'm actually really glad that i bought it now because there is no way that i'd be able to afford either of these bags in 2022 pre-loved or new because they're just so expensive i mean these bags specifically if you are still on hunt for a classic flap and a chanel jumbo you can definitely find like good deals on the second hand market it's it's just these two colors specifically they are always being sold close to or over retail price which is crazy so i'm just so glad that i jumped and bought these bags when i did i know that chanel is intimidating and you know the prices can be intimidating but if you're able to um, do it i would definitely go ahead and purchase one no matter how expensive it is right now because the prices are always going up so you can always count on the fact that you are making a solid investment and like i said i don't think i'm ever going to add another classic flap or a jumbo into my collection anymore so i am just so glad that i made the decision to buy these when i did the next bag that i'm going to be talking about is my prada odette heart bag now you guys have seen me talk about this bag a lot but i don't think i've quite told the story about how i got this bag that many times on my channel so the reason why i'm considering this one of my like smartest decisions is because this bag came out for a limited edition for chinese valentine's day i believe in oh gosh i am always gonna get these dates wrong i believe it was in 2019 maybe 2018 um but basically i had saw a picture of it online and luckily it was actually i think a week before the release date i had no idea how crazy people would go for this bag like i had no idea how popular it was gonna be i just saw it and liked it and was like mm, i'm gonna try to buy it so what happened was i um, woke up that day that it was being sold and i tried to add it to my cart i tried 
cried multiple times. Actually, no, I didn't wake up to it. This is at night because of the time difference. So um, yes, I tried to buy it when it went on sale and it was nighttime for me and I tried to add it to cart and purchase it, but it wouldn't work out on the website. So I just decided to let it go and then I checked the next morning after I woke up and I was able to add it to cart and buy it. And literally maybe 10 minutes after that, I refreshed the website and it was gone. And I initially wasn't sure if I should log back on and try. I was like, well, you know, maybe it wasn't meant to be. And I didn't realize like how much I would love the bag. So I didn't really like, you know, push myself to go like get it. In the end, I did eventually just, you know, convince myself that I might as well check it out and try again. And yeah, this is one of my best purchases and one of my most smartest decisions in my opinion because this bag is impossible to find especially in this color i have not seen it on the retail market ever in this color i think i've seen the black one pop up once and maybe the red one pop up once but the pink one almost literally never i also get offers from people to buy this bag all the time people are offering to buy it way over retail price and i'm never gonna let it go i think because i just love this bag so much and it's one of those pieces that i'm like it's such a rare piece and unique piece that I'm just so glad that I convinced myself to get it when I did and I feel so lucky that I was able to grab such a you know unicorn item and yeah this is um why i consider this one to be one of the smartest purchases i've ever made all right next i'm going to be talking about my gucci marmont but the reason why i consider this one of my best and smartest purchases ever is because i was really hesitant at first to buy it because i I didn't want to like give in to the trend. I thought that this bag is having its moment. It's just really trendy right now. And I just, you know, didn't want to invest money in a super trendy bag that I wasn't sure that I was going to love forever. However, um, I decided that I was going to go for it because it really seemed like it was going to be functional. And I really, really liked the color and everything. And even though it was silver hardware, I was still like, I don't know, there's something about this pink that I really love. And it really ended up being true because this is literally one of my most used and one of my most favorite bags. This one I consider like a heart purchase or a go with your gut feeling purchase. So that is why I think that this one is one of the smartest decisions that I've ever made. A lot of the other bags that I'm mentioning in this video are more like smart financial decisions, but this one was just a smart decision in terms of like going like against my brain and telling me, oh, you shouldn't buy this bag because of these three reasons but i just followed my heart and went with it and i'm so glad that i did so that is why i consider this one one of my smartest purchases all right so the next bag is going to be one of my recent additions this is my louis vuitton spirone bb bag i have been using this non-stop since i got it my stuff is still in here because i'm using it every day with the baby i got this one for a little over a thousand dollars on rebag which is a secondhand website and they were having a labor day sale so i used their code and got a little more of a discount on it. This bag was a smart decision for me because I really wanted a bag to use with the baby that um, I wouldn't have to worry about, I wouldn't have to be careful about, and this one had a little bit of wear on it already and I knew that it would be a functional bag because it is a backpack and yeah it, I'm really getting the use out of it that I thought I would um, I was a little bit worried at first because there is a lot of wear on this bag but honestly I'm kind of glad there is because that makes me not worry about the bag even more I do not baby this bag at all I throw it around I throw it in the car I just don't have time to like um, watch my baby and also baby a bag at the same time so yeah I just feel like this was a really smart decision I also feel like the price was really good and I'm definitely getting my cost per wear out of it so that is why i think this is one of the smartest decisions i've ever made in terms of buying luxury bags even though this is a more recent purchase i'm already reaping like the benefits and the rewards of this purchase all right and the last bag that i'm going to be talking about is my hermes kelly bag so this bag if you guys don't know the story about this bag i bought this one secondhand from a instagram seller called finkel puff i will leave her instagram down below because she is a really reliable and trusted hermes reseller 
Hermes can sell for a lot on the retail market, so please be careful when you are buying something that expensive on the secondhand market. They are based in Singapore and they're just great. So I was looking for my first Hermes bag and I only really like two Hermes colors. If you know my Hermes journey, you'll know how picky I am about these items. So I only like two colors, Rose Sakura and Rose Confetti. This bag is in Rose Confetti and I either wanted obviously a Birkin or a Kelly. At the time, um, I liked the Kelly more. I still think I do like the Kelly more than the Birkin. But anyways, I wanted my first bag to be a Kelly. I also really really love gold hardware I barely have any silver hardware bags so it also had to be in gold hardware and plus I'm totally in love with the cellier style so finding this bag was basically going to be an impossible task because I wanted the three things that were like the most popular in the Hermes world the color the hardware and the style of bag um, I think I got a little bit lucky because I was looking for a 28 and not a 25 size and I do believe the 25 size is a little bit more popular <laughs> anyways I digress Dress. So, um, yeah, I basically saw this one on the Finkel Puff Instagram. I had a friend who'd purchased from them before, so I felt comfortable buying from them. Plus, um, I got my bag authenticated immediately after I purchased it, and it is authentic. I mean, I was so scared. I cannot tell you how scared I was because this bag cost me an extreme amount of money, like more money than I would ever recommend to spend on a bag, but I was just dying for it and I knew that it was pretty much going to be impossible to get in store so um I sold a couple of my bags to purchase this bag I don't remember exactly which ones now but I will leave the video where I talk about this bag when I first purchased it um down in the description box below in case you are curious um but yes I feel like this is one of the best decisions I made because there are two ways to do the Hermes journey if you want an Hermes bag. The first way is to go the regular route or the traditional route where you go in store and you buy a bunch of things consistently, you know, talk to an essay, build a relationship with the essay, and eventually they will offer you a bag. So I am doing this now with my mom as well. We both have an essay here in Denver that we really, really love to work with. He is amazing and he's offered my mom so many bags and I actually got a custom order from him too, which I'm still waiting for by the way. But it took us a very long time to start on this journey with this essay and my mom buys 99.9% .9 of the Hermes items that we own because I'm just so picky when it comes to literally everything so I just never saw myself being able to go that traditional Hermes route because I just knew I would never spend enough on like accessories and shoes and things like that to be able to get offered a bag and plus once I did get offered a bag I really didn't think that you know out of the only two bags that I want in the two colors that I like I just didn't think that I would ever get offered that bag so I decided to go the second route, which is the pre-loved route. So pre-loved Hermes bags sell for literally two to three times over retail price. I know it's insane, but think about it this way. That is probably how much you'd be spending anyways in accessories and other things in store if you went that route. So that is what I told myself, and that is why I decided to purchase this bag, even though it was very, very expensive. I don't regret this decision at all. This is one of the bags that I love most in my collection, and I'm so glad that I was able to purchase it and just, you know, decided to go for it. And I sold bags that, you know, I no longer loved in my collection or bags that I knew um, I would love this one over. So that is why I considered this one one of my smartest purchases. But please go check out my Hermes Kelly videos where I specifically talk about this if you do want to find out more detail. And all right, that was all for my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. What do you think are the smartest investments or the smartest handbag decisions you've ever made in your collection? I would love to know in the comment section down below or which of these bags that I showed you today did you like the best. If you do want to check out another video, please go check out that luxury mistakes video. I think it's really fun to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!